Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Nari's Fantasy Life. Last time we did a lot of mercenary work by defeating some monsters and helping her scaredy cat partner her, her find a little bit of his courage. And now it's time to continue on with the next life, which is probably going to be Paladin. Yeah, let's do Paladin 1. Get all the mar warrior ones out of the way. And then it's just two more lives and we can finally go to the Grassy Plains. Guild Master changed my life. And uh, now, Paladin. And hey! In a way, we'll see our old friend Iggy. Ignatius. Way back from the blacksmith life. And as just the hunter, we just got ourselves an automatic mission complete by gathering apples. Cool! So, hi Mustang. And there's Ignatius, hi. Uh, I'm not the captain for one thing, I don't even have a mustache. <laughs> That's okay. I wanted to just talk to you and say hi. Well, what do we have here? Another pirate and hopeful, are you? Very well. The name is Mustang. Captain Mustang of the Paladin Order. The pleasure is yours. Before we begin, a word of advice. I do not tolerate mustache-related humor. Mark these words well. That said, I am bound to teach any able body recruit of the ways of the Paladin. Onward to Valor! No, I do not want to skip. Now, your first lesson. A Paladin's duty is to protect Castile and maintain a state of peace. Without any further ado, I offer you the tools of our trade. Obtain the Squire's Sword! Obtain the Paladin's Shield! Yay! Take with your right hand the longsword, dispenser of glorious justice, and in your left, grasp firmly an oaken shield, symbolizing a paladin's oath to protect. With these instruments as righteous justice, you shall become a humble servant of peace. Never forget, protecting our fair kingdom is your top priority as a paladin. I see you are eager. This is good. However, you are but a novice. It will serve you well to remember this fact as you begin your journey. But I have no doubt that through temper, discipline, tireless resolve, and diligent training, you may one day rise to the very top of our hallowed order. A fellow cadet is waiting for you outside. Her name is Rosalind. She will school you in the basics of being a paladin. I believe you will learn much from her. I do not mean to burden you with undue pressure, but I foresee many heroic deeds in your future. The Fletchling Paladin! The Long Arm of the Law. Alright, let's go speak with Rosalind. Ugh. Okay, now I'm getting really hot, so I'm turning on my fan. So forgive me if you can hear, the, hear it over the... Um, over on the microphone. Anyway, hi Rosalind! Hail, new recruit! My name's Rosalind, and I'll be showing you the ropes. Pleasure to meet you. Now, don't be intimidated. I'm on the newer side myself. But I've been a paladin for two, nearly three days, so I know my way around. Now, let's begin with the basics. Paladin etiquette 101, if you will. A noble and true paladin always aids those in need. Never forget, humility and modesty are important. It's all about maintaining the proper composure. Okay, I think you're ready to meet Isabel. She's been a paladin longer than both of us combined. Let's head over there over to the stables. I saw Isabel tending to the horses this morning. Just keep an eye on your map and start walking. It's not far from here. Don't be nervous, I'll be right by your side. Alright, Nari, let's hit the road. Rosalind has joined our party. And we're heading to the horse stables, which we know exactly where those are. Given the number of times we pass by it. <sighs> Hi, 
Hi, Isabel. What's this? A couple of lost puppies? Mind the big scary horses, you silly pups. Hey! This puppy is as much a paladin as you are, Isabel. And we're here on official paladin business. Captain Mustang wants you to teach this recruit some basics. Is that right? I'm now in charge of transforming puppies into paladins. Very well. I suppose a few minutes of my time could pr prove invaluable to the recruit. Especially with how this one is holding that sword. About as useful as a feather duster with that grip. So let's work on that, shall we? I'll teach you basic Castellian sword technique. Longsword skills are current learned. Yay! Single-handed sword play is fast and protects you from enemy attacks. As your level rises, you can attack with different A presses like consecutive and charged attacks. Now, equip your sword. Cross on this left our party. Now notice that we only learned sword strip, which means that we can't actually equip this yet. We'll get there eventually though. Alright. Sword equipped. Alright, I suppose you're as ready as you'll ever be. Let's begin. First things first, let's take that sword of yours for a test drive. See that training dummy? I want you to pretend it's a monster and take a few swings at it. Go on. That's actually well done. There's hope for you yet. As a matter of fact, you show the makings of a fine paladin. Given enough time with practice, of course. Don't let this go to your head, though. Your bark is still louder than your bite, pup. Whoa! It took me two days to get that right. You must be some kind of paladin prodigy. I'm gonna have to work harder than ever to stay ahead of you. This is just the motivation I need. That's the spirit. A little friendly competition never hurt anyone. Still, there's more to being a paladin than just swinging your sword fiercely. You'll need to learn some defensive techniques as well. But that, I'm afraid, is not my specialty. I believe our prodigy pup here would benefit from meeting Porthos. Roslyn, do you know where he is? Yes, he spends a lot of his time at the market, doesn't he? Indeed, at this or any time of day, Porthos can usually be found having a snack in the market. Thank you, Isabel. We're on our way. Come on, Nari. We should try to catch Porthos before his post-snack, pre-neck snap, neck nap. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, with that commentary, you can probably guess that Porthos is a round fellow. And it's just... Let's face it, that's a little bit insulting for anyone who is overweight. Like, games like this is always like, anyone who's overweight, it's like snack time all the time. Like, no, no, that's not how it works. Game developers, please stop doing this. Uh, but it is what it is in this game, at least, so. No, oh, no, he's gonna be down this way. <sighs> Whoa, hello! Come to offer more free samples, have you? I must say, the appetizers have been living up their name so far. Mm hmm, keep them coming. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. We don't have any appetizers for you. We're here on official paladin business. I'm Rosalind, and this is our newest paladin. We're actually looking for some information. Oh, Rosalind, hello! Won't you join me for a mid patrol snack? Perhaps another time, sir. As I said, we're here on official paladin business. In fact, we were hoping you could offer us both some pointers on proper defensive technique. Oh, bother. A robust midsection is a soldier's first line of defense, and I'm afraid I can't coach that. But, seeing as you've come all this way, I suppose I can throw you a scrap, as it were. Thank you so much, sir. Right then. Do you two crumpets know how, how the best paladins start their day? One word. Pre-breakfast. That's right, well-fed soldiers are the key to a peaceful and safe castell. Now, don't get me wrong, swords or shields play a role, to be sure. 
But how can we summon up the strength to wield them properly on an empty stomach? So, for the good of the kingdom, dig in, soldier! Uh, I think I get it, sir. Splendid! Oh, and here's a delectable no more of training tip. You can use your shield as an oversized buffet plate. Sir, I'm not sure Captain Mustang would approve. Oh, I suppose not. And again, I know that man's mustache alone requires sample sustenance. But I digress. Let's move on to the main course, shall we? That is, of course, the business of learning to properly handle your plate or er, shield. And now we have learned the shield skill and equipped our shield. Shields can be used as with a single-handed sword, a dagger, or your fist. Hey, I just spent 10 hours in Riveria. Nice. With your shield equipped, hold X to raise your shield and defend yourself. This will reduce the damage you receive, but it will also use up some of your SP. What do you think, recruits? Ready to defend yourselves and the kingdom of Castell? I've got high hopes for you two. You seem to have a healthy appetite for our adventure. I'm counting on the next generation of paladins to maintain a state of pizza or uh, peace in Castell. All right, Roslyn. I trust this has been a savory and satisfying lesson. I'm off to pre dinner. Yes, sir. It certainly was filling. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, but speaking of food, I almost forgot. While I was munching our little post lunch, I heard some fellows talking about a disturbance nearby. What kind of disturbance, sir? Well, funny you should ask. I have it the poggish. My attention was regretfully compromised by a particularly scrumptious slice of cheesecake. And now I've gone and ordered a little apres snack. So I won't be able to check it out at the moment. But you know what? You two could use the experience. Why don't you investigate? Really? You're giving us an assignment? That's right. Remember, a paladin's duty involves more than swinging a sword or raising a shield. Or don't you remember the paladin creed? Of course, sir. Always aid those in need. You heard the man, Nari. Let's head out. Ah, it warms my belly to see two young recruits so eager to prove themselves. Head over to the Appleseed Cafe and speak with the owner. He should have the info you need. And make sure you report back to Captain Mustang when you're done. Yes, sir. We're off, Nari. Yeah... Porthos is a cheery guy, but all that talk of meal this, meal that, it's it's just kind of insulting. Japanese games always do that. Anyway. Welcome, Paladins! Wait, who are you? And where's Porthos? Porthos sent us, sir. We are both official Paladins at your service. Oh, how wonderful! I'm honored to have two shiny new paladins on the case. See, I've got a problem. We're famous for apple juice here. I mean, we're at the Appleseed Cafe. Well, unfortunately, our shipment of apples has been mysteriously delayed, and we're out of ingredients. Delayed? But why? The weather has been fine. The roads are clear. What could have delayed it? Well, exactly. That's what makes it so mysterious. Anyway, we require a special type of apple to produce our trademark juice. Ordinary apples simply won't do. These apples are extra juicy and have a unique tangy flavor. But lately the shipments been ha have been unreliable, and now they've cost off completely. Without our signature product, business has dried up. Just look, it's a ghost town in here. That's terrible, I'm so sorry. I wasn't sure this was an appropriate job for the mercenaries, and they're pretty busy anyway. But then I noticed a handful of particularly shitty characters hanging around. To be honest, I'm not sure- I wasn't sure where to turn, until Porthos wandered in sneaking an apple tart. Well, we're honored to be on the case, sir. Leave everything to us. Alright, our mission is to put the apple back in the Appleseed Cafe. I know this doesn't sound as exciting as battling a dragon or anything, but those kind of jobs are just as- these kind of jobs are just as important to the ca citizens of Castel. So come on, Ari, let's give this case a good shake and see what falls out. I think our first move should be consulting with fellow paladins. Maybe someone knows something. We've got patrols stationed all over Castell. If anyone's seen anything suspicious, it'll be them. I say we try the front gate first. Those guys see everything one coming and going. Let's hurry up and ask them. 
Okay, give me a moment. Ah! Oh, hi. Era. Press the red wool, hustle and bustle around here. Sorry, but this part of town has been as quiet as a sleeping kitten. I haven't seen anything. Oh, before I forget, actually. Equip the shield. There. Alright, sir, have you seen anything? Greetings! Welcome to Castel. You are free to come and go as you please. Wait, you two are paladins. Why am I telling you this? Yes, sir. We're here on official paladin business. We've come some. We've got something important to ask you. Important, eh? Well, you've come to the right place. This post is one of the most important in Castel. Of course. Well, anyway, we'd just like to know if you've seen any suspicious characters pass through. Suspicious characters? Not on my watch. Oh well, it's back to square one for us, I guess. But you know, I did hear talk of some trouble on the outskirts of town. From what I could gather, it sounded like a robbery. A real robbery? Well, that's exciting. Um, I mean, horrible. Uh, right. Anyway, let me think back. I'm Gates, by the way. I was stationed at the Western Gate at the time. And the scuttlebutt over there was that a nearby farm had been burglarized. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. Apparently, the farm's prized apple tree was stripped clean. Right, that's what I heard too. But, uh, I thought those apples were sort of, you know, community apples or something. I suppose taking all of them at once isn't exactly polite. Anyway, I'd love to go catch the thief myself, but my duty lies here at the gate. That's right, partner. Gate duty is our top priority. Captain's orders, we can't leave our post. Anyway, it's likely the thief will target a new area next time, like the apple tree just south of here. What?! They can't take those apples, those are my favorites! Sometimes they even sneak up there with a quick bite. Oh, those juicy, crunchy apples. Wait a second, what happened to my duty lies here at the gate? Well, anyway, I think I know what our next move should be. We've got to get to those apple trees before the thief does. So let's go, Nari, no time to waste. Hold it, you two! Captain Mustang, sir! Be advised, I heard everything. Now the only question is, is it all true? Yes, it's all true. I'm an apple fiend, sir. It's really beyond my control. I throw myself at your mercy. Get a hold of yourself, paladin. Your apple munching can't, doesn't concern me at the moment. No, I'm more concerned about the possibility of a thief running free through our peaceful streets. Well, sir, it certainly appears that the rumors are true. In fact, Nari and I were on our way to apprehend the culprit ourselves. Is that right? Well, your initiative is impressive. Consider it noted, but I cannot allow you to be so reckless. There is a fine line between bravery and buffoonery, and I need you to recognize it. If there are rogues out stealing apples, you can bet they're armed. So let me teach you a new skill. Learn the spinning attack technique. Hold down A to charge a battle for attack, release A at the right moment to perform a wide range spinning attack. I expect exceptional results. Sir, yes sir. Whew, with all this excitement, I could really go for an apple right about now. Alright you two, sounds like you've got your work out, out, out for you. The tree is just across the way. It's dangerous out there, so you better take this. Don't hesitate to use it if you're in trouble. It attained an HP potion. I love the free stuff, right? Thank you, sir. Hi, I was gonna use that. Sorry, Apple Boy, you lost the right to complain for the time being. Yeah, you have. Hi, Jude. Bye, Jude. Anyway, down this way. 
And there we go, we got our thieves. All right, boys, the coast is clear. Let's get to picking some apples. This is an awful lot of work for a bunch of apples, if you ask me. Hey, these ain't just any apples, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. The boss wants these oh so special apples or else. He's gonna take a bite out of us. Our job ain't to question the job. Our job is to only do the, do the job. So when the boss man says apples, we go and get them apples. Hey, let's yap more app or apple. In case that wasn't clear, can I just pick the apples, you fools? Hey, calm down. We ain't in no hurry. This one is in the bag. Who's gonna stop us, the paladins? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, we are. Oh, Phil sticks. Yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button. Easy enough. Hey, look! Obtain the cafe apple. All right, let's head back to the apple seed cafe. May as well go this way. Way, too far. There we are. And you're up with the cafe apple. What's this? You recovered one of my apples? Amazing! That's a real beauty! Now I can finally get started on that special order for the castle. What a relief! Excuse me, sir, but did you say castle? Yes, of course. Did I not mention it earlier? The princess is a big fan of our juice. She orders a large fast every so often. The princess actually love a loves apples in general, so yeah, that's not surprising. I see, and by the princess, you mean Princess Laura, right? Well, of course, who else? I can't wait to deliver this new batch of juice, don't be so excited. And it's all thanks to your efforts, my brave young paladins. Surely your commander will be pleased. Yes, sir, surely, I think. Well, I won't let you two walk away without empty-handed, at least. Here's something for your trouble. Obtained $500. Please give your captain my regards, and be sure to praise yourselves highly. We, uh, we'll be sure to give him a full report. Glad to be of service. Alright, let's go complete this paladin novice mission and then talk to people and then I can end the episode. So yeah, yeah these last few ep episodes have been short because they are genuinely very, very short. Anyway, hi Mustang, we did the job. Ho oh, paladins, welcome back. It seems you two have had a rather exciting first assignment. You've done a fine job, and I don't say that lightly. I've even had heard kind words from the castle. Don't let this go to your heads, but you have a bright future in our order. Thank you, sir. Um, just to be perfectly clear, by castle you mean castle? Castle? What other castle could we talk be talking about? But of course! Do you know of another castle? Princess Laura herself mentioned you by name. In fact, she told me to pass along a gift of untold value to the both of you. Her utmost gratitude. Oh, well, uh, all in a day's work, I suppose? <laughs> Yes, yes, very well. Let's move on to the formal assessment, shall we? Paladin's Honor, 10 apples a day, or 150 stars. And yay! Rank up to Fledgling Paladin with a max HP of t plus 10 and a vitality plus 2. Fine work, soldiers. I am pleased to officially welcome you to our ranks. 
Now, don't think this means you can rest on your laurels. I expect you to continue training diligently. May your early promise lead to future heroics. Dismissed. Great job, Nari. I think. Hmm. I think we make a pretty good team. Aslan has left our party, and the fledgling, the fledgling paladin has been completed. Yay! Just two more lives left. All right. Welcome, Nari. What can I do for you? Let's chat, sir. This hold is the base of our operations. From here, we can survey and protect all of Riveria. Anytime you step outside these doors, be sure to keep your wits about you. Or, it's important to keep them about you while you're still in here, too. Very impressive, cadet. You have recognized the importance of checking in with your master. As a reward, please accept this small offering. Use it wisely. Obtained a life cure. Thank you. That will be handy one day, eventually, I'm sure. One does not become a paladin in search of fame and fortune. Nay, we toil in relative obscurity and poverty. A calm and peaceful kingdom is our only reward. Mark these words well, soldier. Dosh cannot purchase happiness. Admittedly, it can purchase more durable armor and formidable long swords. So, good luck with that. Hey you, Tad. I don't mean to brag, but I know a thing or two about monsters. You know, like, which monsters only come out at night? Which ones have fangs? Stuff like that. Well, no, I haven't actually defeated any of them in battle. I need another year or so of study. Have you spent much time out roaming the glassy plains yet? No. The place is filthy with bandits. I mean, who do those bandits think they are, roaming the countryside, terrorizing poor citizens? It's your duty to apprehend the bandit leaders, no questions asked. What do you mean it's my duty to? I'm stationed here. I can't leave until the scary bandits are gone. I mean, I can't leave until Mustang say so. That is the bad challenge. <sighs> If you think you're ready to take on some of those bastardly bandit leaders, maybe I can help. No, 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 no. I didn't mean you. I could help you actually subdue them. Yeesh. I meant that I could help you find them. They're usually in these grassy plains. Anyway, I want to confirm that Mustang doesn't have anything else to say. Search fame of fortune. Yeah, okay. All right, what's about what do you have to say? Well, 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 who look, look who's a fledgling paladin. Congratulations. Now, I know you're all excited and confident, but remember, it's a dangerous world out there. Better take these just in case. Good luck and keep your head on a swivel. Obtain three HP potion. Thank you. Looking for advice? Well, you've come to the right paladin. Listen up, this is the best tip I can offer. Swing that sword day and night. The more you use it, the better you'll get. And believe me, you're going to need every ounce of skill you can muster. Go on, get to practicing. Oh, hey there. I've just been reflecting on what it makes a paladin truly great. I think it boils down to pure strength. The stronger you are, the better you can protect Castell. Alright, and let's go talk to Porthos. Oh, Paladin! Looks like you're the real deal now, all official. Let's catch up over a working lunch later, eh? Okay? Get it? Catch up? Working lunch? Catch up? <laughs> Seriously though, I'm hungry. Hi, Rookie! Come here a second. How are your skills with the old shields shaping up? The sword will get you far, but without a shield, you'll be vulnerable. It's all about balance. As a Paladin, your sword and shield are your bread and butter. Yes, rustic bread, toasted to perfection, tripping with freshly melted butter. That does sound good, but I wish you would talk stop talking about food. Games, why? Why do you do this? And... 
That's not who I wanted to talk to. But anyway, hi Jude. Bye Jude. Hi Rosalind. You did choose to pilot in life on purpose, right? You weren't hoping for a paddling life? Because you wouldn't be the first one to make that mistake. Did you? I may be pretty new to the pilot in life, but I've already got the basics nailed down. For example, did you know that single most important attribute for us is strength? Greater strength equals higher sword damage, and that's critical when you've got to fend for yourself. Strength is key, but don't forget about dexterity and focus too. A great paladin is strong in all three. Okay, I can't think of anyone else. Let's go check the apple seat guy and see if he has anything to say for us being a paladin. He might. Alright, a quick check for the license. So, the Whirling Skirmish, spinning attack, defeat 10 monsters, defeat a Caterpillow, defeat 5 Caterpillows, defeat a Bandit, defeat 3 Bandits, defeat a Bandit Leader. And I already completed the 10 apples a day to gather 10 Castile apples. Nice! Mm. What do you know? He does. Hi, Mr. Apple. I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm privy to all kinds of gossip. You know what? You seem nice. Here, take this. On the house. Enjoy. Have a great day. Obtain some vi five apple juice. Thank you. I may be biased, but I think Castilian orchards produce the best apples in Riveria. And of course, I serve only the pick of the crop of Castilian apples. You always carry some with you on your adventures, right? You should. Apples can save your life. Well, Princess Laura is a little free spirit, isn't she? Climbing trees like a little monkey? Yeah, she just shimmies right up there with her little monkey arms and picks my apples. It's cute, I guess. But I'm gonna start charging her for those apples eventually. You watch me. <laughs> anyway. With that, I suppose we're, this episode is done, so thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye now.